after the holiday weekend. 189.8. I think I was about that yesterday and it might have been 189.9, but I still consider that a win coming off of the holiday and not gaining weight. So I'm gonna start my morning where I left off last night and do a little Spanish review, and then I'm gonna have some coffee and get started with work. This is the stuff I have trouble remembering all these verb conjugations. Um, so I need to spend a little time reading. And I came into the living room because it was quiet and I saw a cork he likes to hide under here and he had a piece of a tree. That's what he was chewing on. And there's a bunch of needles here. So I need to convince him that he needs to leave that stuff outside. He just took part of it over by the door. I think he's afraid I'm gonna take it from him. He might be right. Cork has really been so good in the house that sometimes I just forget that he's a puppy, but he definitely is a puppy. So I came to get an afternoon banana, and I came into the bedroom, and this plant was laying over, and if you look, Cork is trying to destroy the evidence by jumping on my phone. But we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to watch him a little more closely. Especially back here in the bedroom where he thinks he can get away with stuff. Okay, Cork. I got a text from my buddy Jason. He invited me to come ride. The weather looks good this time. It's a little bit breezy, which makes it tougher, but uh, I'm excited you to try out my bike phone mount, which means I hopefully get some good road footage. Um, these are fast guys, so I'm sure I'll be hanging behind. But I'll do the best I can. We're gonna ride 24 miles. Um, I've been in the office all day. I didn't realize how close to the time to leave it was, but uh, I'm dressed. I'm gonna go get my bike, put some air in it, and Jason's gonna pick me up here in a few minutes. And then we're gonna go ride. Bike cam working now. I can talk to myself. I was riding with the uh, slow group and I was feeling a little cocky, I guess, because I kicked it up here with the fast group, except they're faster than me. So now I'm like four miles in and uh, I'm definitely feeling it. I'm not gone, but I'm, uh, I'm feeling it. Well, I just passed what looked like women's panties on the road, which means that somebody's probably having more fun than me on this road. About five miles in, 19 left. I am for a very, very short moment the actual lead guy here, but that's only because the fast guy made a wrong turn, and the second fastest guy, I think, went after him. where we watch everybody faster than me go by me. Now I'm like 11.1 miles in. That's a little less than halfway. I'm starting to feel it. I'm in fourth place of the front group. But the first place guy, he came a different way, so he might have been going shorter, but he's in front of me either way. I think there's still half a dozen people behind us. Haven't seen them. Knowing my speed, they'll probably pass me in another five minutes. But it's better to be out riding than sit at home on the couch watching TV. Just about 15 miles in, we took a small break. One guy made a wrong turn, so they were trying to decide whether we're going back for him or riding straight back to where we started. Got about nine miles to go. They say this is the easy flat part. It's definitely the bumpy part, but uh, it's a good ride. It's a nice day. We just finished 23.68 miles in an hour, 28 minutes, and 16. Well, that's what I did. Some of these guys did a little bit faster than I did, but it was a good ride. It's a beautiful night. It started out warm, but it's pretty nice.